out for him? Absolutely. Um, this week we had all the pitchers throw to hitters, uh, especially having Rachel throw to hitters uh, help because we're definitely going to see two lefties out of Arizona. But I was extremely impressed with the way the pitchers threw to our own hitters, so I'm uh, uh, really confident in our ability to control a game in the circle this weekend. What do you do? I mean, they got one of the big, best home run hitters in the country uh, at 26 or whatever it is. How do you control that? How do you? We well, just hope to God she hits him with no one on base. Um, for us, we we're not uh, we're not worried about solo home runs. Uh, if we give up three or four one run innings and we score five runs, we win the game five to four. Um, the big thing is you got to limit the people in front of her. Uh, if she's got a chance to beat us, we probably pitch around her. Um, but if there's nobody on base, we're going to attack her. And, you know, you tip your cap. She's a great hitter. She's got great numbers. She's one of the first kids in uh, college softball to have 20-plus home runs the first three years of a career. And that's, uh, that's something you don't see every day. So it's going to be fun to see her in our park. Will all five arms be active? Or all five arms are active for this weekend. I think... Uh, uh, from what I see, all five arms are throwing their best right now, so we will definitely match up. I think it's really important to have five arms when you possibly have to play a doubleheader. So still, 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 Michaela or uh, Rachel the second game, absolutely. depending on how the first game goes. Yeah, absolutely. And if, if it got to that point heading in tentatively, do you think it's Kaylee for game three if need be? Or uh, we'll just see how effective she is. I, I really think that watching the film that Lexi will be very um, good against our lineup with the changeup. Uh, seemed like they had a little trouble last week with Gabriel's changeup. And I think Lexi, you know, has proven that she can beat these teams with basically two pitches. Basically how she kept us in the game against Florida last year. They were saying when Kaylee was on, not to give away a lot, but, but they noticed that with the changeup, usually if she's on, the changeup and screwball are the most effective. Is that a, a fair Yeah, assessment? I, I think when Kaylee's on, the changeup's got to be one of those go-to pitches. Um, I just think it it's a tough pitch to hit in softball because if you're going to hit it with any power, you have to stay accelerating through the zone, and that's just something that's tough to do so close. Corey, do you have game plans for the – do you look at the flags and kind of look at – come up with a game plan in this ballpark? Or this this ballpark's really a little bit different. I liked I liked to uh, pitch calling at LSU and Mississippi State because the wind was blowing in, and it's tough to hit a ball out of the ballpark. Right. That's not the case here. It seems like this is a launching pad. Um, but I'll go in tonight. It'll be the first time I've taken a look at their hitters and really start getting an idea. But basically, you've got to really understand what's working for your pitcher because you could have the best game plan in the country against their hitters. But if your pitcher hasn't, you know, doesn't have the ability to make those pitches, you've got to figure ways to get people out with what's working for them. So I kind of like watch what the uh, pitchers are doing. I don't know if you saw a little bit of the games 